listening to 90.5 KCSU Fort Collins, and we are back this time with Live and Local with The Crooked Rugs. The Crooked Rugs, if you don't know, are a psych rock band formed in Fort Collins, Colorado, with members Jace, Nolan, Jay, Rex, and Finn. The band solidified in 2019 after years of a university project, and if you haven't had an experience yet today, you are in for one right now with their first song, Diddly. So take it away, guys. So to start out, how about you guys all give us a little introduction, tell us your name, what you play, and a fun fact about yourself. My name is Finn Stowers. I play bass in the Crooked Rugs, and a fun fact about me is that I love seafood. Uh, my name is Rex Stowers. Uh, I play guitar in the band, and a fun fact about me is I love extreme sports. Hi, I'm Jace Haley. I play guitar in the Crooked Rugs, and I love King Crawdad. Hello, my name is Nolan Brumbach. Uh, I play drums, and my fun fact is that I cannot juggle. Hello, my name is Jay Le Chevalier, and I play keyboards and guitar in the Crooked Rugs. And a fun fact about myself is that I'm a level 65 Oniromancer in training. Good mid game stats. Awesome. These are some great fun facts. Thank you guys for sharing. So, recently, you guys just released a new song. Tell us a little about bit about that uh the new tune is called melancholy mind it's our first single off an upcoming album that will hopefully be out on november 8th uh it kind of sums up the style of the whole album we're kind of going for like 70s fm obscurities so kind of lo-fi 70s rock new album here and now that's what it's called it's out november 8th it's gonna be uh really good yay and you guys have some shows coming up too some album release shows a big show tonight tell us about that yeah we got uh we got some shows coming up uh we're playing the gothic tonight uh mm -hmm. with Bay rainbow it's gonna be super awesome we are doing a house show in fort collins um on november 8th and then we're playing hq in denver on the 16th of november and um, before that, we're going on tour with Bugrins. Uh, they're a Brazilian psych rock band. Uh, that's going to be the 18th through the 26th. And uh, we'll be at the Aggie Theater on October 21st. Awesome. You guys have a lot of shows coming up. That sounds super exciting. Yes. Mall, that's for sure. 
<laughs> what spot on tour are you most excited for? Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do in Chicago? Jay really, really likes a Chicago dog. Chicago style hot dog. I have a soft spot for that. I was hoping that for the fun fact, we were all going to say that we love seafood. Um, <laughs> that would be really funny. <laughs> Actually, can we cut and go back? <laughs> <laughs> Such a felt at home To yourself and yourself alone All over time But to me no one It's your past that you're leaning on Try and analyze and describe it all Just a method depending on All you criticize when it's caught on We have some more hard-hitting questions for you guys. Um, to start off, you have four albums out now, which is awesome. You have a fifth in the works that's getting released very soon, November 8th. Very excited for that. What's been your favorite memory recording as a band? <laughs> <laughs> nice. um, one of my favorite memories uh, was when we were recording our very first album in Rex and I's parents' garage and in the middle of the summer and it was like 100 degrees in there. We were all just like shirtless, sweating, just writing for days on end. So that was a really funny memory. And compared to how we've been able to do things in the last few albums, it's been just totally different. We're actually in air conditioned rooms and it feels like with each album, we kind of just like take it up a notch. So I really am excited for this new album to come out. I'd say for me, it was a uh, second album was at the Garage Mahal, where it's the opposite, where it's really cold. Yeah, and that was a lot of fun though. Like getting that was like it felt a very collaborative um, writing process, and over the time of COVID, so it was a uh, it was good to just be with the boys making music. Uh, my favorite is actually also the first album down in Durango. Uh, there was a lot of just shenanigans happening. And we were sure that we recorded nothing good by the end of the <laughs> session. So and it ended up being one a pretty fun album. So, mm -hmm. um, let's see. It was probably um, the album Metropolis, uh, which we recorded with uh, Shane Zweigart. Is that how you say his last name? <laughs> um, he brought over his tape machine, and um, 
there were a couple songs that we knew we wanted to record, but we didn't know exactly how they went. And when you're recording the tape, you only get like a couple tries. Uh, I think it was the songs Full Circle and Violet Tiger, which we like kind of knew how they went, but like now they're some of our best performing live songs. So it's funny to like just kind of play music and put it out there and then see how it goes. My favorite recording memory <laughs> was also from our very first album. Uh, I have a, there's a distinct moment where we were recording the song It. There's a part that goes, and there was a time where we were working out that part of the song, and Jace was just like standing on this boogie board in this garage, <laughs> just, like, playing that. And we got it on video. You can find it on our YouTube channel. <laughs> That's awesome on a boogie board but too. That just like sticks out of my mind. It's a silly moment. <laughs> that is awesome. Well, great, great answers and great memories. And this question is, what is your guys' dream venue for a Crooked Rug show? Oh, so actually, this is crazy. My dream venue was the Gothic. Oh no way! Denver. It's my yeah. favorite venue in it's, Denver. It was really? like the one that I saw like my favorite shows at as in my youth. Oh wow! And, and tonight, like, one day we'll do it. Actually, I didn't even shoot. I was like, one day we'll play the Bluebird, and then we'll play the Gothic, and we just wow. skipped it. <laughs> so here we are. Yeah. Dreams are coming true on this fine Sunday. <laughs> yeah, awesome. I'd have to agree with that. <laughs> I was at a show like when I was like 18 at the Gothic, and I was like in the audience. I was like, I want to play on that stage. And five years later, here we are. Or six years later, I guess here we are. <laughs> Also, it'd be dream to play Red Rock someday, but we'll get there. Yeah, Gothic was kind of the main one. That was where, when I got, you know, moved to Fort Collins in 2015, that was where all this bands I wanted to see was, and learned pretty quickly I wasn't a fan of being in the crowd and <laughs> really wanted to just be playing, and it's cool that we're, we're going to be doing that. That's the most Art Deco venue, too. Mm -hmm. And I'm also going to have to say <laughs> um, it, it was one of those things we've been talking about for a while. Um, man, if we could only get on a support tour, um, you know, and we now we're on this Bugrins tour and, oh, if, you know, we could really just get a supporting slot at the Gothic. Like, that would be crazy. That's literally we've been saying that to ourselves for years now. Years. And Bay Rainbow is also a band um, that like when Jason and I first started hanging out, like, um, well, I'll check out this song, you know, so very full circle, um, it's very exciting. Mm -hmm. It's all coming up. Uh, I'm house. very excited, <laughs> yeah. Indeed, everything is coming up Mill House. <laughs> <laughs> I am also extremely excited to play the Gothic. That's my favorite venue in Denver. I would also like, I think I, another great venue to play would be uh, the Business Amphitheater at Chautauqua Park in Boulder. It's like semi-outdoor, and I saw Cake there once, and that was pretty cool. So I know they have rock bands there, even though it's mostly like orchestras, usually, but we can play there. Additionally, the Mishawaka. Oh yeah, the Mishawaka. Yeah, I was literally just Mishawaka. about to say, hey, yeah. Mishawaka, you know, room. if you're listening to KCSU right now and love to have the Crooked Rugs, uh, we would love to play <laughs> next year. <laughs> we'll have it for anyone. Perfect. Let's do it.
thank you guys so much for hanging out today. This has been so much fun. Um, Crooked Rugs have a lot of gigs coming up, so the crookedrugs.com is where to find that information and all their socials. And thanks for hanging out, and we'll be sure to catch you guys at a show very soon. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. 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 Thank you.